Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will be seeing the second kind of guided transmission media, which is the coaxial cable. So previous video, we have seen twisted pair cable and now is the turn for coaxial cable. So coaxial cable looks something like this. It consists of multiple layers, but the core again is made up of a copper wire. So the inner conductor, which is made up of copper, is covered with an insulating material. Again, insulating material is required so that uh, it, the copper wire can be protected and the signal is not affected by noise. Okay. Now, after the first insulating material, there is another cylindrical conductor which is in the form of braided mesh. Okay, so uh, inside we have at the center copper wire. Then the copper wire is covered with a plastic insulator and this insulator is covered with a braided mesh which is a conductor. So it is a metal mesh. Okay, now further this conductor which is the outer conductor is covered with the second insulator and finally a protective plastic cover covers the entire coaxial cable okay now due to its multiple coverings and protections in the form of insulation and metal sheath it has a better shielding than twisted pair and that is why the signal that travels inside a coaxial cable it can travel longer distances at higher speed okay so signal can travel longer distances and that too at higher speeds okay so this is a bigger advantage that is offered by a coaxial cable over twisted pair cable now along with this there are other advantages again like twisted pair cable coaxial is also used for digital as well as analog transmission but it has a better a higher bandwidth and a higher noise immunity again due to the multiple forms of shieldings that covers the inside copper wire through which the signal travels so these are clear advantages of coaxial cables it has better noise immunity the signal does not get distorted or attenuated and it has a capacity to travel a larger amount of data as well now the most common example of the use or application of coaxial cable is in metropolitan area networks. Metropolitan area networks. So in exam if you are ever asked about coaxial cables you should always show the diagram and give an example. It is always better to give as much information as the uh, marking scheme requires and be very direct and crisp in your answers. So write point wise, but state every information that you have. Now in metropolitan area network, specifically cable networks use coaxial cables. Okay, so cable TV networks have a very important application of coaxial cables and they are very useful in any kind of other metropolitan area networks also. So this was all about coaxial cables. I hope you have understood this topic. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.